Cove here. This is the uh, 10 shot Cobb 50. You can see that's got this, this little little magazine. I don't know if they make mag pouches for these yet, but I'll probably have to get one. So bolt action, 10 rounds, climb in behind this thing, safety on. It's got a 12-pound trigger that you're told not to mess with, which is probably a pretty good idea. And I'm just going to get in behind this on a 50 or any of the really heavy recoiling rifles. Make sure you get forward pressure into the bipod. Your shoulder's leaned into it. Grab with your right hand nice and firm and pull back into your shoulder. And then lock everything up with your left arm. You want to roll with the gun when it goes off. This gun is a 50. really doesn't have a lot of recoil, which is kind of nice. I mean, it, it moves you maybe an inch or so if that. It moves everything else around you, though. So let's see how this thing goes. Okay, we're going to let her go in three. Well, that's, a, that's a pretty cool little deal right there. There's your uh, little 50 caliber to play with. Anyway, hope you guys had fun watching it. <laughs> All right, we got Mike Shapiro, and this is a Cobb 50. It is a 10 round bolt action. I put a Trigicon TA-11 on it. He's gonna go for a headshot, only 75 yards because we got kind of a limited thing here. So I'm gonna back the hell up because this thing, uh, it's a little loud. Let's see how he does. <laughs> wow, <laughs> it even knocked the toolbox of a... <laughs> I think the hole is right on the bottom of that little A box on the line. <laughs> so I might have, you know, been holding just a little low there. Okay, well, clear out the gun. This is a bolt action. It's on the left side of the gun when you actually cycle it. Left-handed there. <laughs> it's like a tree falling over. Where is that thing? There it is. Here, let's uh, let's go take a photo of you with your uh, 50 caliber hole. I should make you haul it down there and back. <laughs> All right, well, let's see how he did here. Coming on up. The hole in the A zone in the body was actually mine just seeing if the Trigicon was even uh, on. So he had to hold on the neck there because it's hitting just about three inches high. And uh, I, I'm, I'm guessing that that would have actually worked pretty well if you, uh, if you had to use that for a defensive situation. <laughs> yeah. I don't really care what armor you're wearing, that's, that's going to do a good job.